Hello and welcome to Our Crazy Life. Our Crazy Life. Our you, Crazy Life. You didn't do it. You didn't do it. I'm tired of it. Well, yesterday was Mother's Day and we hope everyone had a We hope fun... every mother out there or non-mother or whatever you are had a fabulous day. I, I'm not a mother, but I had a fantastic day. Good. Spent time with our, our grandkids, our kids, except for Kayla, who chose to go to Florida. Well, we talked about that in our other video, how she just doesn't like us and she's decided to go to Florida, right? Yes. You don't want to talk about it? No, we already talked about it. We're going to have it again. But we decided that she, well, they have a they have a husky. Uh, they do. They have a husky. Not, a dog named Chloe. Chloe. Beautiful dog. Beautiful dog. Beautiful dog. Friendly dog. Sweet, sweet as can be. Sweet. It, it, because we've been going back and forth. We lost our last dog. When uh, did we? A few months ago. Okay. Uh, she, he was a little... Uh, Terrier, uh, little Yorkie. Uh, Max. Yeah, he, we had him all, he would, would have been 16 in April, so he didn't make it to April, yeah. so he was like, maybe it was March, March, something like that. Anyway, so we had three dogs, and now we have none, so we're kind of coming back We're from, going back, you know, should we get a dog? I kind of miss a dog. Do we want to get, you know, do I, want, I, maybe I, a little small I one. I love dogs. Yeah. So, I always wanted a German Shepherd. Yes, I said, we should get a German Shepherd. I saw some baby German Shepherds. I thought, we yeah, should get she one. She almost had me talked into it. Almost had me talked into it. So then we decided, okay, yeah, we'll watch your dog while you're in Florida for a week. Uh, and the first thing I ask is, we have plants on our uh, our deck and stuff like that. And beautiful and rose bush. Beautiful rose bush. And I said, "Hey, does, I asked I asked our son-in-law and our daughter. I said, does he eat plants? No, I don't think so. I don't think he eats plants. Well, yes, he does. Just to give you a heads they up. They are uh, beautiful rose bush. It's my favorite rose plant. It's my. Fa it's been what? She. Why do you keep saying he? She. 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 Just uh, she just looks like she's got pieces of it in her mouth. <laughs> she's cat. Like, I'm, she's I'm, I'm going. Like that. No, not cute, not funny. Destroyed it. Yeah. So I've cut it all the way down. Hopefully to grow back. And then today, you put her outside. Yes. I still sleep, and I wake up. And I go, oh my god, it's raining. I hope the dog's not outside. Yes, the dog is outside. And the dog, I couldn't get her in no, the house. She, she thinks, loves she, being outside. She, she thinks it was she hilarious. She thinks it's a game. And the, so then I put her back out. So it, I dry her off. I get her all. Going. It gets all su bright and sunny. An hour later, I got. I'm doing something, and all of a sudden, I go, is that rain? No. I can't get her in the house again. I go, look, I will let you stay out here. But so I, basically, we've decided, you and yeah, I, we don't, we don't want, want a dog. dog. <laughs> we as don't much, want a dog. As much as we love dogs, they're yeah, great. Yeah, we do but, love it. But out here, they get the rain. rain it's, in the it, back it's just, it's yeah, just a hassle. So, so we decided, no more dogs for us. But that's uh, that's all we got. But we got to go see uh, Zach's t-ball game. Yes, we did. Which was good. But we had an interesting... Uh, and he's a good little runner, isn't he? And, he's, oh, he's, he's, and he listens. Yes, he does and listen. He, and he loves the game. So, yeah. But... There was a parent, a couple parents there. Um, well, a, they had a child who they just thought that they had to be around him nonstop. In fact, when the kid got to first base, every kid gets on base. Every kid runs the bases. It's, 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 it's for fun. And and I'm not critical. We've all made mistakes. And, you know, I've made mistakes in life. But As parents. Uh, as parents, we all make mistakes. But just to tell you guys, if you're doing what this woman was doing and the husband was doing, that man and wife were doing, you're gonna you're gonna make your kid not want to play. He, I mean, he, she, literally, she was running the bases for him. I wanted to say, look, he's not gonna get kidnapped going from second to third. It's, just, it's, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. But she's running out there, and at one point, he just takes his glove, and our son. His dad wanted to move him to somewhere else, right? His dad. Yeah, his dad. Jay was because uh, each parent gets a base to tell the kid, all right, you run to third base, you run home. You know, it, again, just teaching the kids the fundamentals. So Jay was out there, and he heard the dad say. Hey, you need to move on. And the kid just flips his glove in the air and walks off the field. Yes, <laughs> I just thought it was funny. But she kept coming out there and pouring water on him during the when they were out there. I go, oh my God, back off, lady. Yeah, we, we called her the helicopter parent. Not that there's anything wrong with being a helicopter parent. I, I was probably, of the two of us, I was probably more overly... Probably more overly protective, maybe in certain things. Not with sports. Not with, not, not with sports, no. Because I think as coaches, we've talked about it before. Right. Nothing's worse than the parent that doesn't want to help coach, but then wants to help coach. Yeah. You know, that tells you how to do it, when, but they don't want to take the time to do it. But yet they know everything. It just I just thought that kid, he was young. He was probably about four. Four, at least. But he, you could tell every time his mom or dad got around him, he got irritated. So... Just, just, just let them play. Let them play. They let them have need, fun. They don't need all that. Just let them play. Let them play and let them have fun. Again, yes. I've made mistakes. You've made mistakes. We've all made mistakes. But this is some advice for you guys out there with new parents and kids getting into sports. Let them have, especially at that age, just let them play and have fun. Right. No. I mean, you can give advice, but I, I, you know, as a coach, I always felt like, you know, there were coaches that 
would say like a thousand things before that student would go onto yeah. the ice. And I'd be like, okay, if they don't know it by now, and you have to say all those things, first of all, they're not going to remember it all. No. Second of all, it's going to go right through it, and they're, and it's just too much information. So I wasn't a, like an over talker. I would just maybe work on key things. I mostly worked on before they would take to the ice and go out there. I would work on their confidence. I would my words were, you know, what a great student finish they first. Are. Or I'm going to cut you. No, you know what a great student. How they how much they improved. You know how beautiful they looked. Uh, just how proud I was. And those were the words that I used. I might have had maybe one or two little things I would say about a, a, a landing or something like that, but I wouldn't go overboard because I felt at that stage of if you're not getting it or be, you don't have it, then you're not going to have it. You're not going to have it in that three or four minute warm up, first of all, and you're not going to have it. All the words you're going to say is they're standing there to go take the ice, you know? So anyway, um, but th- I just, for parents out there, cause I was probably one of those parents. That's why my daughter's never skated again. Cause I, I jumped into the ice. She was step back. I, and, and let I, them in have fact, fun. I told her, I said, you ever do that again. I will disown you. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> I will divorce you. But Zachy's parents are not that way. They're very encouraging. They had a good time and Zach loves it. And then you can tell because he's enjoying it because he wants to be out there. He wants to be out there. Yeah. But what we want to do today because people always go, you guys just, you get along so great because you never have differences. You don't complain. You don't. And that's really? Like, they say that about us? That's what I'm just, I'm just leading it. Okay. But there are things that we do differently. And, and one I wanted to talk about today is towel folding. Now, to be fair to me, I when before Cindy and I even started dating, I came to her and said, "Look, I took lessons in towel folding. I was going to go pro at towel folding, but I just did. I couldn't have it. I didn't have what it took to be a professional towel folder. And yet, she still married me anyway. So she, she should, you should accept the fact that I don't know how to fold towels. I just listened to you say the proper way. What the heck are you talking because about? Because she's crazy about folding. Towels. I like my towels fold it." And then fold it again, and then fold it one, two, very tight. And I like the round part, not the seam, but the round part on the outside, and then all them in the individual levels, and you know, biggest to smallest, because all the, nice because and neat. the towel won't dry you off if it's not folded correctly. No, it's because when you okay, I don't know about you people, but you know, what if somebody opened your towel cabinet and they saw a mess in there? You know, they're gonna think what a mess you are. But why is okay? Here, hold, hold on a second. Every cabinet we have, you just slam stuff. You just throw things. You're right. How many times do I open up the cabinet? Everything just falls down. I go, gotta love it, gotta love it. But the towels, the towels have to be folded a certain way. In fact, you won't even let me fold the no, towels because you don't do it my way. And I go, I'll fold the towels. But you don't fold the jeans the right way. You don't put them on the hanger the right way. You put them. They're where jeans. You're supposed to, no, They're jeans. You, no, because then they don't have to iron them. If you hang them properly and do things properly. Anyway, it, it's a lot easier. But no, so we do have that disagreement. But when I'm tired, you go, you want me to fold the towel? I go, I don't even care. Well, there's a basket been sitting by by in our room for about three days now that you haven't folded. No, nope. I'm tired. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So I can go ahead and fold those towels? Go for it. I told you that the other day. No. You asked me this. No. Okay. No. All right. No. But that actually, to be honest, I forgot they were there. <laughs> well, that's that's our biggest thing right now is, is, is I think over our, our, our life has been towel folding. Because you're just so anal about how the towels get folded. Just for the towels. I don't know. Anything else. So what I did one time, my daughter doesn't fold the towels that way either. So Heather doesn't fold them that way? No, she does a little little different. She does it her way. So Because you guys it, are different with the toilet paper too. Yeah. And the, so when she first moved into her house, she likes her toilet paper over. I now do that. But when she first moved into her house, I went around all her bathrooms and did the toilet paper the other way just to irritate her. And then I messed up her towels and did it my way just to irritate her. Yeah, I just don't get it. It's just a towel. That's what I always said. I said, I don't understand... Um, is it polygamous where there's more than one woman married to a man? You can't have more than one hand in the house. You can. You can. Yes, but I, no, it's too hard. You just can't get it. When I, when you just, went, just beforehand, you go, oh, this is how we're going to fold the towels no, and everybody will get along. Because, no, because when she, the girls were all living here, Kayla didn't care. She didn't do much of the housework. But Heather, she had <laughs> she her she had her ways of how she liked things done. And I was like, I couldn't wait for her to move out because she likes things done her way. I you, like guys used done to fight a, you guys used to fight a lot. Not a no, we didn't fight. Not fight, but disagree. disagree. Disagreed about cleaning house and how we wanted things done in the house. And I couldn't wait for her to get her own house. So she and I finally thought, look, when you move out, you can do it your way. Yes. Until then. No, she, I missed having her because she would keep the house clean for me. And she was very good. Oh, she, she's, she's a awesome. Clean, she's a clean freak. Yes, she was. Good she's thing. like me. Yeah. Anyway. But is that you're, not a, you're not a mess, though. You're not messy. I don't like messes. I don't like when things get dirty. No. I get, I get, ah. Yeah, you, you're like, the nice thing about us is that we're very similar in that. Yeah, except for towel folding. Yes, except for towel folding. But we had a good weekend. I enjoyed myself. Did you enjoy yourself? It's I, always so much fun being with the grandkids. They're just such adorable. 
Well, and oh, then... and Zachy got excited because him and Colleen, his mom, do a uh, they do a on the J Jack Podcast Network. They do a for the patrons. They do a Survivor thing where they do talk about the challenges. So we're watching the challenges with him. Of course, I'd already seen it, so I'm picking the team that wins. He's picking. I go no, pick the pick the other team, pick the other team. And so he picked it. Then he wanted me to help. He wanted us all to record right. with him. And he was, was so, so he was so excited. excited. And he kept calling you guys twin twisters. Twin, twin twisters. And I go. We still can't figure I, that I, one I out. I haven't figured out. He goes, no, we're twin twisters. I said, okay. I wonder if you're like twin winners or something. I think that's he what knows he's how trying. to speak properly, so that couldn't be it. I don't, I don't. I don't know what he was trying to say. It's probably something the new kids say that's hip and. Uh. <laughs> he's almost going to be five next. Year. I know. I can't believe it. God, those five years went unbelievable. Fast. Faster than our kids. Yeah. But anyway, it was so cute. He was like so excited and he was enjoying it all. He wanted everybody to come out there. But, you know, it's a thing he does with his mom and it should be just him and his yeah. mom. And I tried to do that, but he just, he insisted on, on us all being there. Yeah. Because we're twin twisters. Twin twisters. That's right. And you cheated, but he didn't know that. That no, was cheating. You don't have to know I cheated. He well, to be fair, I'm older. I, me remembering. That's that right. a good thing. And his nickname is Bun Patty Bun. That's yeah. so cute. Because I was called Bun Patty Bun once because I went to In N Out Burger and just got. A plain hamburger. Yes. So it was bun, patty, bun. So like, oh my gosh. But anyway, it's, that's what he calls himself, yes. bun, patty, bun. Bun, patty, bun, like his grandpa, his <laughs> papa. It's too funny. But anyway, but it was it. a good time. It we had a good time with the kids. Good week. Yep. And uh, we'll be back next week for more of our crazy life. Our crazy life. I'm hoping that maybe on Wednesday to pick up Zach and we do a little Gigi, uh, Zach, little That'd be nice. Bonnie thing. That'd yeah, nice. just the two of us. And then when Alex gets a little older, he'll do it. And then Ava, when she gets older, when Hayden, they get older. So, you know, kind of like what I do with my own kids. You know, we, we do little one-on-one stuff. So yeah. they can feel special. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like fun. Well, I hope you guys all had a great week. I hope you all enjoyed your Mother's Day. I hope you all had some love and were uh, shown appreciation. And Start thinking of what you're going to do for your fathers because it's Father's Day is coming up next That's month. right. That's very important. It is us. important because without you, we wouldn't have kids. No. That's true. We wouldn't. No, we wouldn't. <laughs> anyway. That's it. Subscribe. Tell a oh, friend. Oh, we forgot to do that. Oh, we always Hit forget. the subscribe button. You know, please give us a thumbs up if you could. Uh, tell a friend. Like we say every time, there's no, you're not put on any kind of list. We just need to have subscribers. So the more we can get, the better. So thank you for subscribing and thank you for listening and watching us. We and thanks appreciate for it. sucking up and doing this episode. You're welcome. Because you were tired. I was tired. I was like, can we have to do it today? I'm so tired. I go, yep, we have to do it today. We're on a schedule. Yes, we are. Me, man, that you are. All right, guys. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye.